What's up, YouTube? You know how every week I say it's kind of boring and there's not a lot of change? Well, guess what? This week, it's not boring and there's a lot of change coming. That change is coming. With this. Yeah, finally, 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 finally got my RTX 3080. So big change is coming. Uh, next week, I hope, depending on how everything goes, I will have my new super speedy rig. Uh, so I will be pushing many, many frames a second uh, and everything should be nice and sharp. And uh, who knows if that's going to make any difference in Apex, but it'd be kind of curious to see what happens. But uh, I'm just kind of generally excited. Um, but I guess with that out of the way, we should probably get into a general discussion about how things are going overall in AimLab. So if we look at uh, where we are versus the previous weeks, give me a second here while I bring up my information on my phone. So in flicking, we are currently at 53.1 and last week we're at 51.1. So we're up in flicking. Uh, we're up in tracking from 56 to 56.8. We are a little bit down in speed um, from 54 to 53.5. Nothing to be too concerned about. Up a teeny tiny bit in precision by like 0 0.2. Uh, big jump of three, you know, 2.8 in perception and cognition is exactly the same as it's always been. So um, steadily putting in a little bit of time in aim lab and steadily seeing, you know, moderate results. Anyway, let's turn my green screen back on because uh, probably looks weird right now. Yeah. So big, exciting things um, on the, uh, on the Apex front, uh, there's not a lot of huge change, but something I'm going to do a little bit differently this week, uh, which should be kind of cool, is I'm actually going to, instead of like me just going to the um, shooting range and, and just kind of shooting and chatting, I'm actually going to kind of go through a clip of mine, um, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm just pretty proud of how it went because I, uh, I kind of clutched out for my team. But I thought it was actually a really good way to show how the different things that you learn, or at least how I think the different things you learn in Aim Lab can actually impact your game in Apex. Because I honestly think a lot of the shots that I hit in that clip, I probably wouldn't have hit them in the past uh, were I not doing aim training. So, you know, food for thought. Anyway, let's go through this real quick and then we'll get into it. Alrighty, let's move over to Apex. Okay, so just to kind of set the stage, uh, we're fighting with a team over in the building there to the uh, northeast. And unfortunately, my Wraith gets downed because what else is a Wraith going to do early game? Um, and this team just starts raining grenades on us. Cognition and Perception. Uh, if I had went left here, I probably wouldn't have got hit. So, you know, awareness. Also, my movement. If I was faster, I probably wouldn't have got hit here. Ouch. And ouch. So I'm, I'm hurt pretty bad at this point. But um, I guess the other part of perception and cognition, I at least had the wherewithal to face my res shield the right way. And heal. 
Perception. Enemy runs in, and I am not pre-aiming him at all. Speed and flicking. So notice I pretty much snap right to him here. And my tracking is actually pretty good. I think the crosshair is on him. And again, there's a little bit of flicking and tracking. And now we have some new contestants who come in at the same time and tracking. Hit most of those shots and some cognition and perception. I get the red shield right. Flick. Really good flick. Precision. There you go. I uh, I thought that was kind of a good example of where the skills that I picked up in AimLab I find I actually have a uh, a really good um, application in the game. So you know you saw some flicking, you saw some tracking, some speed, some perception, some cognition, and some you know precision. So if I can find a clip like this in uh, coming weeks, I think it'll be a good idea to kind of tie it all together. Uh, also, I have a weird love of the Sentinel up close in early games. Just very satisfying. So I'll put the graphs on the uh, on the screen here real quick, but there's nothing, uh, nothing too major to talk about. One thing is interesting that's happening other than that little dip with playtime and my statistics, the uh, the first couple of points and the last couple of points almost look fairly linear uh, between the uh, the um, average damage progress and the amount of time I'm putting in game. So it'll be interesting to see uh, how that that tracks out. Uh, uh, further so yeah anyway uh, generally moving along next week is going to be a whole new cup of tea because it'll be a brand new computer hopefully i don't have the same issues i had moving to this current pc when i uh, back up and restore my uh, aim lab data hopefully everything comes uh, across really smoothly this next time so uh, yeah let's see uh, what running uh, running at a apex at a blistering 120 frames per second sorry that's all my monitor can do um you know, at, at super high resolution works out. It should be uh, interesting to see if it makes any difference. Um, I'm not changing my peripherals at all, so there shouldn't really be that much shock other than it's going to be a faster machine. So anyway, um, thanks a lot for uh, watching, for those who tuned in, and uh, be excited for next week because uh, uh, having that new graphics card and new system is going to let me stream in, you know, a uh, much higher resolution and I'll be able to do a lot more Apex streaming. And uh, yeah, it should uh, be good. Anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for making it to the end of my video. You get free pizza. The free pizza is fake. I have no way of sending a free pizza, and I can't be sure if you don't live in some exotic locale where there is no pizza place, so I have these fresh videos instead. Or subscribe. That also doesn't get you free pizza.